hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is zuby space kindly subscribe to this channel if you have not and also click on the bell notification beside the subscription button to be notified once i drop any update on this channel joining us we are at the federal high court in abuja for the resume trial of uh, the ipop leader mazi unamdi kano uh, unamdi kano yesterday was brought to the courts for According to what we had, it, uh, he was unable to take a plea uh, because, according to his lead counsel, Mike uh, was a uh, He said uh, Kano was not aware of the amended charge and uh, pleaded for uh, uh, for the adjournment of uh, that trial of that proceeding yesterday, so that uh, Kano can go through. It himself can go through the, the amended charge and be able to uh, take a plea. Yesterday, he accused them of uh, he accused the, the federal government of ambushing um, Kano with fresh charges uh, and what served on him leads. I said he had uh, uh, enough time since uh, the issue, since uh, the matter uh, uh, was up for here in the courts. But they decided to wait till the eleventh hour before uh, they, they, they amended the charge, and uh, and uh, he said that as a result, his clients cannot take a plea. So yesterday also there was um there was Sitato, the first member of Sitato Wonder, according to our correspondents in some part of the country in the north, in the southeast. Uh, uh, this, you know, we, they said schools, they said schools were shot, and um, some uh, Indonesia as well, some youth were seen uh, making bonfires to demand the release of uh, their leader. Also, some private and public schools uh, who were scheduled to reopen uh, uh, today did not like did not open yesterday uh, because of the Sitato murder uh, being enforced in some south eastern uh, states of the country. Uh, in Enugu as well, they said economic activities uh, were also granted in the capital of Enugu State and the Tavares on Tuesday. All was to demand the release of the high pop leader who is going to stand the trial in the high, in the high court here in Abuja. So, yeah, today they resumed here that the, the hearing has continued. Uh, we are yet to get the feedback of what is happening right here in the court. As usual, the DSS are uh, decided to shut out some journalists. Uh, we are uh, being sent out of the premises, so we are also here, uh, like we were yesterday, uh, we're trying to see to get a glimpse of the moment. Uh, so, as soon as uh, the whole thing is relaxed, uh, the whole thing has been relaxed, the whole security presence has been relaxed, oh, we shall be going inside and get to speak with um, some the, the lawyers, people in the legal team of our uh, to get what uh, was uh, what has what happened, what has uh, in today's uh, uh, at today's hearing, so that is the situation we are now. So, in case you are just joining us, we are live at uh, the Federal High Court uh, premises. Journalists have been bad as well, like they did yesterday. We are outside. We have um, the, every presence of security of British here. You can see officials of um, personnel of uh, in the NSDC, uh, the Nigerian police, the DSS, uh, who are here. Uh, who are fully armed. Uh, there's a blockade mounted by the, uh, the security operatives to ensure uh, to ensure that uh, movement, regular movement uh, is being restricted around this area. Uh, like we said yesterday, Ona Regalu was unable to take a plea because according to uh, the lead counsel, what the lead counsel, that is Dr. Michael Zekome, uh, he said uh, he accused the government of preaching uh, the principle of fear uh, with the manner uh, at which they went about uh, the amended charge. Uh, it should be recorded that uh, 
and the federal government tried to increase uh, the, the charge uh, of Nnamdi Kaudu from 7 to 15. Uh, and uh, this council for Nnamdi Kaudu said uh, the, 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 the amended charge came at the level tower. And he said, as a result, Nani Gano will not be able to plead to uh, the amended uh, charge.